Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Superchargers is done! So on to the next one. Trap Team is highly split throughout the Skylar community. Some people love it, some people hate it, but myself, I enjoy it. That enjoyment is confirmed with the Trap Masters. 18 new Skylanders, two of each element, were brought into the game, all with special weapons made of Traptanium. It's kind of like Captain America's shield, but not as expensive. Affordable weapons made easy in the Skylander world. You just gotta steal it. I think I'm actually losing my mind doing these intros every month. As always, I'm Crash Rousel of Crash the Skylands, and this is every Trap Master ranked from worst to best. But... This is my personal list, meaning I'm going to put Skylanders in certain parts on this list that you're not going to agree with, and that's okay. I like opinions. I mean, I have my own all the time. But as long as you're respectful of my opinion, I'll be respectful for yours. So leave your opinions in the comments below, but just be nice about it, okay? We, we try to keep it pretty friendly here. So let's hop back into the video. Number 18, Head Rush. When the only good thing about your character is the secondary move, that's not a good sign. A very easily forgotten Skylander, Head Rush is the only option for this spot on the list. Number 17, Gusto. A Skylander that you need to put a load of hours into so you can figure out how to play as improperly, Gusto isn't worth the time. His moveset is basic and repetitive, meaning you'll get bored fast. Number 16, Nightmare. Introducing the new dark element to the game should have had a strong start, but Nightmare's lackluster moveset didn't impress me. Compared to her dark core counterpart, she could have been better, and it shows. Number 15, Snapshot. For range attacks, Snapshot is perfect, but for his close range moves, you gotta look somewhere else. As someone who prefers close range attacks, that's why Snapshot is this high up. Sorry. Number 14, Thunderbolts. Another lackluster moveset with an even worse name, Thunderbolt has a decent moveset but nothing to write home about. The air element didn't do well in Trap Masters, but Thunderbolt is only a little bit better than Gusto. Number 13, Tough Luck. Tough Luck has two great moves, but one that I don't really understand. As always, I'm not using her correctly, but her hidden ability doesn't do much except make the enemies look like idiots for a few seconds, unlike me, who looks like an idiot daily. Number 12, Blaster Mind. Jap, before you message me calling me every name in the book, hear me out. Blastermind's puzzle unlock ability gives him a ton of points, but for the rest of his moveset, it isn't terrible, but compared to the rest on this list, it has to get this spot. Oh, and there's Jap now, gonna call me every name in the book. Oopsie. Number 11, Bushwhack. On top of the fact that I called him Bushwhacker for the last two years, Bushwhack has a great moveset, but I bet that you'll be only doing the same move over and over and over, most forgetting his other moves. And I know you're going to disagree with me in the comments, so go ahead, but just be nice, okay? Number 10, Enigma. If I were to make this list a few months ago, Enigma will be nowhere near this spot, but after doing a random run with him back in April, I learned to like his moveset. Notice I said like and not love. Overall, he is impressive, but again, compared to everyone else, he's just okay. Number 9, Lobster. And before you say, but Chris, he was number 1 on your favorites list, that was a long time ago with a young and naive crash, while now I'm old and more naive. I can tell you that he is still great, but having him heated up is the only good way to fight. Number 8, Kaboom. One of the best powerhouse Skylanders in the entire franchise, this is a Skylander that you can enjoy during your first playthrough, but a moveset that can get very tiresome quickly. He does get extra points though with his Skylander Academy cameos though. Number 7, Gear Shift. Gearshift has a unique ability to switch her giant gear into three different styles of attack. Sadly, only one of them is worth it. I'm going to let you guess which one that is. If all three were great overall, Gearshift would be way close to the top, but sadly, we can't always get what we want. Number 6, Shortcut. First of all, adorable. Secondly, that wide variety of a moveset is something everyone can enjoy, even though his puppets can get frustrating since they always do their own thing. His rapid cut move, however, is sickening with how much of a combo breaker this thing is. Number 5, Crip King. As the father of Chop Chop, hey, I think it's canon. Crip King has one of the smoothest movesets in the game. Although, I can never master his Ghost Sword move, everything else is an excellent character for first time starters of this game. 
Number four, Jawbreaker. One of my favorite rapid fire characters, Jawbreaker has one of the best movesets in the game with only one tiny flaw. The little lag in between his Robo Rage ending and starting it again can get you in some sticky situations, but luckily, Jawbreaker can survive extremely well. Number three, Wallop. I don't think there is a person who dislikes Wallop. His moveset is the perfect mix of range and close combat that anyone can pick up and love right from the start. A rapid smash attack can solve any problem every time. Number 2, Nightlight. This is how you introduce a new element in the Skylanders. Nightlight has a great moveset showing off a unique mix of new things that are being brought into this game with the element, and it's a Skylander that people want just because of how good he is and not because of the rarity. Well, maybe a little of both. Number 1, Wildfire. Play with Wildfire for 5 minutes and you'll see why he's number 1. The shield attacks are perfect for multiple enemies. The grab is good for bringing enemies into destroying range, and his fire breath? This Skylar is perfect and the only option for number 1 overall. And that's my list! Who is your favorite Trap Master? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're craving more Trap Team content, check out my mini lock I did a while ago. It may be hint towards my next ranking videos. Who knows? Also check the description for a ton of other awesome SkyTubers, but as always, I bid you farewell.